Are you bathing au naturel? Are you, are you in the garden? Yeah, of course, man. Yeah, look, check this out. Oh, look at this. Yeah, yeah. Have you guys got like a fan club? No, I think there is a couple. You could lead one though, sure. I call them the Filthy Tangerines in honour. Oh, yeah. Now that's a name I've not heard in a long time. I don't even like gig, like bringing some much oranges to your gig. No, not yet. It would be quite good if we got pelted with oranges one gig though, isn't it? It'd be something different. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know how much you like the zest. It sounds aggressive, but, you know. <laughs> listen to Fold. Oh, mate, yeah, I was listening to it around Tesco, was like, just doing this. You got the fuck up for you, Hey, if you thought on the tenor for your soul. I love the video as well. I love that you guys got all the fans oh. get involved. <laughs> but I edited it all. And it just started out like the three of us, the four of us, sorry, we, we were just going to do ourselves in like lockdown. And then um, George's sister sent a video of her mime into it. And then her friend sent one. And then we were like, fucking, we'll just send an email list out and just see what, where it goes, sort of thing. And then yeah. the lady who very much enjoys you lot, because she. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you, nigga? Yeah, I bet you like that bit, didn't you? Oh, well, don't play me like that. Just us interviewing men from bathtubs. Don't mean I'm integral. <laughs> How dare you? I can't wait to hear all the songs that come out of lockdown, to be fair. I think there'll be some bangers. Do you think they're going to be weird? Because I feel like people are spending too much time on their heads. <laughs> I think it's going to be fucking weird. Yeah, yeah, I think so, man. I think um, there'll be some real over thought songs as well but it would be cool it might be a new genre who knows yeah an ode to banana bread finally <laughs> exactly have you been doing a lot of baking then from the sound of it i could i've not been able to get flour i've not been able to get uh, honestly i could get other white powder easier than flour yeah. that's the strangest <laughs> thing well say hello to my little friend a little quiz oh have you that's Wangana! And it was suggested yeah. that your knowledge would be tested on famous drummers. <laughs> Lars Ulrich moved to LA at 16, but to do what? Uh, play drums for Metallica. <laughs> it's to play tennis. Um, he oh, oh, in which film alongside Russell Brand? Oh, God. I don't know. Uh, Pass. It was Not very good to film. Uh, Dave Grohl appeared in the Tenacious D film, The Pick of Destiny, but as what? Uh, the Devil. Yes. Uh, Dave Grohl fell off stage. Yes. One right. <laughs> but one time. So what year did Dave Grohl break his leg? Oh, it was in, I think it was in Switzerland. Uh, I'm going to guess 2006, 17. Oh, it's 2015, I'm afraid. Um, oh, no. He had a custom-built throne that he toured with because he couldn't stand up. But which band did he later lend that throne to? Uh, ACDC. It was. All Guns and Roses. It was Axl Rose. Right? That's two questions correct, sir. Well done. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. Uh, I asked him <laughs> some drumsticks, so why don't you show me some moves, maybe? Show me what you got. So, I'll show you some uh, very basic stick twists. I'm not very good at it myself, but uh, oh. you can do that. There's three positions. There's that one. Yeah. That one. Yeah. And that one. And, and then you just you, rotate around all three. Oh. Yeah, you got yeah, it. Just, sort of. <laughs> yeah, it's nearly there. I am using spoons. So that's quite good. That's yeah. Good. Dude. That's pretty good because it's probably thicker. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. These, uh, these smell like bolognese. <laughs> First of all, that is delicious. <laughs> I bought you out some bongos. Oh. Just for you. For a oh. lockdown treat, Jack. So how about a nice pair of bongos? Do you want to hear something? Yeah, I want to hear something. I don't know. Oh. And you actually, you actually terrified one of those birds from, it just flew off as well, like in the back. <laughs>
There you go. You yeah. Can... It's like the arch enemy of Bill Oddie. It's terrifying. I'm going to leave the nest, huh? Yeah. But we could learn a little samba beat if you want. It's just oh. going to go. I'll do it on the rim first. Okay. So you can hear it. So. You. Two thousand years later. If you need a spoons player for dirty orange, you pick up that belt. <laughs> I'm ready. So I'm just auditioning for various bands, slowly but surely. Right, yeah. Well well, you're definitely in the list of consideration for us, mate. Pick up a bit of cowbell as well. Do you like okay. a cowbell? Cowbell? Yeah. Fucking love cowbell, mate. <laughs> oh, like, honestly, <laughs> I got obsessed with cowbell recently and was like going through every song I knew that had cowbell in it. There's not enough. I gotta have more cowbell. If you got a song coming out soon in the pipeline with cowbell in, be sure to hit you up with that. And you could learn a line and play with us live if you want. Yes! Finally! <laughs> I've become Bez. It's what I've been waiting for.